Okay. Now, dinner is made, clean up. Um, now, if you guys want to see what I made, you can, you're welcome to hang out with me while I do it. Um, made some chicken tenders from scratch, start to finish. And if you care to uh, hang out with me, you're most welcome. I'm Frida Stauffer, for those of you who don't know. Welcome. I'm making panko coated chicken tenders today. I'm gonna make a lot. It's Sunday and kids are getting kind of hungry. It's one o'clock almost. So I'm going to need eggs to coat it, um, to make the coating stick. But first I have to slice them. Oops. How does this open? Okay. One. Okay, there's two giant pieces of halal chicken breast. slice them. I'm going to start with this one. Mm. Let me trim that fat off. Boys, go outside if you want to run. Each of you have your own. Looks pretty shredded. Why does the saw have so many disorders? Ali, I'm recording, okay? Yes, so I'm gonna continue slicing. Okay, this is the, what the chicken looks like. I'm going to, I've seasoned it with a uh, red lobster seafood seasoning. I used that up. This was from Dollar Tree a while ago. Now I'm gonna uh, dust it with flour before I dredge it in, in uh, egg, eggs and then in, uh, the breadcrumbs, the panko crumbs. Okay, now I'm going to dust it with the flour. Um, I might have made a video of this chicken before, but it was a while ago, and some of you are new subscribers. So I thought I'll record while I do this <laughs> for a chance to chat and maybe catch up a little. Um, So, here we go, roll it, um, this is the method I have been doing since I was pregnant with the twins and they're almost 13. So I guess I've been doing it for 13 years. <laughs> oh, I'm constantly turning that on. Okay, let me see, it needs another little bit. There. That way the egg will stick to it better. 
I always season the tenders before I fry them. Oh, my back is aching. I have a terrible backache. I can hardly stand up straight long enough to make a meal. So annoying. Don't know why, but it just happens a lot. Now I'm ready to drop the eggs in there. I'm going to start with two. And I usually use about the same amount of water as I do egg, so I'm just gonna eyeball that. If you just stick it enough, the coat to hold the panko on, and there it is, all whisked. Okay, this is where I'm putting the panko. So I have plenty of room to work to coat them up. To the panko, the egg, put it in the panko, put it in the egg. you the process. I'm going to do this process. All right. No, it isn't ready. I'm still working on it. I have to heat the oil. And I always give it a, a press. I press it into the crumbs to make sure they stick really good. Yep. And the kids have a hard time waiting for egg. For, I mean, for is chicken. What? Tell him to stop it. to mama.
it was heating. Anyway, so you get the idea with the chicken, coating the chicken. Now I'm going to uh, pause while I continue doing this. Now I, I'm, I've used up all that panko. I'm gonna add some more. It takes about a can and a half of this uh, Japanese style bread comes panko, the Kelowna brand from um, Dollar Tree. Yeah, it takes about a can and a half. It has seven ounces in it. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna flip the chicken. Excuse me. Okay, honey. That there it is cooking. Cooking away. Feed some hungry children. Ketchup. As the kids like to eat it, or some of, sometimes they eat it with barbecue sauce. Mm, right just lo lovely little chicken tenders. How are they, boys? Good. Good? Mm -hmm. Good. How is it, boy? Well, I'm getting more. What do you think? <laughs> Mom. What? On my birthday, I want WWE. Okay, 19, because 2K20 is garbage. There it is, the last three pieces. And there's a mountain. After the kids are done eating, we still have a mountain for later. They'll be snacking on chicken all afternoon. <laughs> and don't forget the veggies. The veggies are here. <laughs> Want to make sure you see them. Thank you for watching, everyone. Have an amazing week. Don't forget your veggies, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>